Good day, y'all. I decided to do a different type of video. Let's talk about your warmers. Um, you all know Aldi recently dropped these warmers. They were $14.99, and they bring them out every year, which everybody, you know, kind of run for them because it's a good price. Um, and sometimes you have to put your candle kind of further up to feel the heat of the lamp. Um, Kimball is a good person to follow when they deal with warmers. There's definitely some holders that you can get to go in there. You got to turn them sideways to get them in there. But what I want to talk about is the breakdown and shakedown is something that I discovered on talked about on instagram yesterday this one from aldi and most standard warmers will come with a 25 watt bulb what does that mean hmm. let's go let, let me go tell y'all what i mean so i bought a leaves candle and one of the wicks was very short very drowned and they're very missing so rather just you know flipping out or taking it back to the store because i have tons of leaves i was like no problem i'll put it under the warmer now this warmer you can't really see the writing on it this is a Uncento from Amazon. I'll link it. This is a 50 watt bulb. So what I'm coming to y'all talking about is this big candle versus the one in my room wouldn't be able to push out enough scent to project. So on yesterday, I had the white one from Aldi out here. I was like, okay, I like the aesthetic of that, right? And I swapped the bulbs. I swapped the 25 for a 50. And y'all, it was giving. It was giving. Like, look up in the corner. I'm put the, the video in the corner of me waving my hand from back here in the kitchen. It projected all the way back. And then the candle stylist male deals with warmer. So she, I took her advice. She said, you might want to check and see if that's wired for a 50 or a 25 because you can cause a fire if the wires burn out. And guess what? The Aldi one, it's wired for a 25. So now this one, I said, well, it's not going to do what it need, what I needed to give in the open concept. I'll move it back here in a smaller room. This doesn't get warm enough even up top to me for the single weight has to be all the way up under it, right? So I say all is still not lost. Here's why. So for $14.99, it was a good price. But my whole goal, I'll have a little table right here. I'm going to move it in the smaller standard bedroom. You can always take an empty candle jar and fill it with wax melts and put up under that light. Or how I deal with fragrance oils and put under that light. So when I say fragrance oils, I keep these on hand. And I'll keep a lot of empty, not a lot, but I keep some empty candle jars. Like I said, you can place these up under there. Or you can do what people normally would do and use one of these. But see, when it comes down to these ones that you light up and your oils, those have a certain flash point and you could overburn your oils. So most people with these type of warmers do wax milk cubes, which is okay as well. And I love to strategically place my candles and warmers around my apartment to give maximum scent, right? So I have a small oil burner. Actually, a wax melt burner could go there as well. Um, I don't like draping cords, but I could also put one here. And then that brings us to the credenza table. My whole point behind this video, y'all, is the wattage. Because now when I look them up on Amazon, I'm looking to see who has what wattage. Uh, Wendy B. Candle Lover sent me a link to a nice one that even the bottom holds a homeless candle and the necks are adjustable. You have some that you find on Amazon where the necks aren't adjustable. This one is, right? So I could essentially put a single wick still on here under a 50 and get a beautiful throw from a single wick. But the 50s, I just wanted to tell y'all, if you're dealing with warmers and you have bigger candles, you need to go 50 because that 25 is just not it. And I'm glad somebody caught me and called me on that. I was like, oh, you don't want to cause a fire because I mean, she, baby, she was giving out here where I didn't have to have nothing else lit. So as a reviewer, I'm like, okay, let me come be responsible and let's talk about this. But I, I just feel like the way to go to me, if you're dealing with bigger candles, go ahead and go 50 watt. Now, again, were these affordable? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like I said, it's not going to handle a big candle. Um, 
The one that I'm getting on Prime Day is $74. Kind of steep. But guess what? It matches the decor that I want. It's a 50 watt and it has a self timer. So I can put it on three hours, walk out the door and go to work and it won't overheat or anything like that so again for anybody having this one we can just call this a review on the aldi warmer let's put it like that it's just okay but you need to put your candle on something that's going to get up up under that light because that 25 watt bulb just is not doing it for a warmer now here's let me show you something else 25 watt this is a electric warmer i can put wax cubes in here i can put oil in there those are always standard 25 watt and they give what it needs to give because you're dealing with wax melts. Wax melts are different from candles, you all. Wax melts are formulated different from a candle. What's the difference between taking a candle and chopping it up and putting it on a wax warmer? It's a big difference because that person that's made that candle has made that big candle with one ounce fragrance load of oil versus a oil, um, a wax melt person, you don't need as much. So it's very easy to fragrant, right? And then some waxes use a very soft wax, which melts easily in these warmers, which will give you off a good scent throw. If you have a wax, uh, a pack of wax cubes in front of you, and it's a hard wax, and your warmer is only 25 watt, it's going to be hard to melt that wax and get a decent throw. So it's a science behind all of it. And I just figure, let me come talk to y'all about it because I do know a good bit about it from me making candles and the type of wax that I use when I make candles and wax melts. So your, your electric warmers, those normally come 25. Again, you could take and chop up a candle and put on here, but are you going to get the maximum scent through from them pieces? It'll melt, but it'll melt better if it had a 50. These won't come in 50, is what I'm saying. This from Aldi, 25. But Amazon got some beasts of some 50s. And I know it's looking like I got videos back to back, but with Prime Day coming, you all, I'll go ahead and edit this video. And I'm definitely going to put in the link below some of my tried and true warmers off of Amazon um, with that 50 watt. Because I just feel like the 25, you got to be in a small space for a 25, which is no different than telling somebody single wick candle versus three wick candles, y'all. But if you got a 50 watt, it's, it's going to give, it's going to do the doggone thing. I just do not put one of these up under 25 watt. It, it, gonna, it ain't going to do anything. That's going to be a waste of your candle. Or if you're already down to the last little bit in that candle, Drop some wax cubes in it to, to boost it up or something. But a big boy under a 25? No. A big boy needs to be under a 50. So, any questions, drop them below. And I'll see if I can get Kimball over here to talk about some more on these warmers as well. Because sometimes, like, these cheaper candles from Aldi's and things like that, when they go clearance, the wicks are so puny that they drown. But we don't pass on buying them because you could essentially just do this and still send up your home for the whole day, a.k.a. a couple of days. So everything has a purpose, y'all. You drop and shatter a candle, break up the pieces, use it under the warmer. Or if you want to depot a candle, this will help you melt it a little bit to get it out to depot it. So everything has a purpose. And I'm the kind of person no candle goes to waste around me. So I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Bye. So essentially, essentially, the synopsis of the warmer that I'm giving, to me, that's just a 25 volt, 25 watt um, wax warmer, but in a candle warmer form. Um, it's big, it's bulky. You might as well have just get a wax warmer. So again, the reasons being that I'm going to list it, um, how I'm going to use it, the room I'm going to use it in. Um, but if I was to walk in a store right now, would I get it? No. Now, that's no fault to Aldi that I didn't turn it around on the bottom and read it and saw that it was just a 25 watt. But just to have a 25 watt in that big bulky form makes no sense. Not unless I said you're going to stick wax melts up under there. So would I repurchase that again? No. Um, if I see it left in stores, would I even get another one? That's going to be a no for me. Because like I said, I got warmers all around with 25 watts. So what was the point of having something big and bulky like that? Yeah. But it's no photo of all these. That's why reading is fundamental. Bye, y'all.